Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got my second part of my crafty favourites to share with you. Today I'm going to talk about tools, adhesives and finishing touches or embellishments. Um, I have tons and tons of tools to share with you. I'm going to talk a little bit about cleaning stamps and kind of like my essential tools and embossing and things like that. Um, so this video I'm trying to make it as quick as possible. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into kind of like my essential tools. Um, so I have a big pile here of kind of like my essential things. So first of all, I've got a T-square ruler. I absolutely love this thing. Um, it's really good for making sure you're lining up stamps straight or anything like that really. Um, really kind of like a must have for me. And then I've got some kind of like tweezery type tools. Um, I apologise, the sun keeps coming in and out here. Um, it's really frosty this morning. And um, yeah, so sorry if it's a little bit difficult with the um, with the... With the light and um, these are the EK success um, tweezers these are the ones that um, kind of clamp are clamped um, shut to start with and then you push it to open it these are really handy for um, holding on to like cardstock if you're embossing or um, just I think they're all really all round kind of really good tweezers the ones I use the most though are these ones here these are from boots actually these are kind of like your normal kind of tweezers that you would pluck your eyebrows with or whatever these are like a really flat um, it's quite sharp actually quite sharp ends and um, these are really good for um, peeling the backing off of any double sided tape or any foam pads um, any foam tape anything like that I use this for and um, they're really really inexpensive and um, really really helpful to use um, and next up is an eraser. Um, I have Debbie Hughes to thank for this. Um, I saw it in one of her videos and it's just so, so handy. It's got a tiny little tip and it basically looks like a pencil and you push it down to um, take the eraser out of the bottom. And um, it's really, really great and you can get refills for it. Um, this is the Tombow Mono Zero. Um, I will have links to everything that I'm using in the description bar here on YouTube and also on my blog. Um, but it's just really, really handy um, to get into these little kind of places if you're marking anything on your card. Um, next up is some scissors. I adore these scissors. These are the Cutter Bee scissors and the Honey Bee scissors from EK Success. Um, I really love them. They've got a really sharp um, tip on the end, so they're really good for sort of doing um, fussy cutting. Um, I really, really like those. And one of my um, kind of main used products, these scissors here, these are from um, X-Cut, which if you're not in the UK is um, Tonic Studios. And um, I just, I really, really love them. They are extremely sharp, really excellent quality. These are the 13 inch ones. Um, and I, yeah, I really love them. They're quite expensive, but worth the money. Next up is my scoring um, board. This is the Martha Stewart scoring board. This is the um, small one. Um, I only really use the small one. I do have the larger one. I very rarely use it. I used it once this year, um, but I use this one all the time to score my card bases. And I always use the um, Teflon bone folder. This is from Simon Says Stamp, although I do believe um, Ellen Hudson sell it now as well and um, I really like it because although it is expensive um, it doesn't leave any of those kind of shiny white marks on your cardstock or anything like that um, very very good quality then next up is I'm going to talk about cleaning products quickly I'm trying to think which order I'm going to go in um, I use these um, wipes from Tesco's actually. These are the everyday value wipes um, from Tesco's 72 fragrance free wipes. I use the fragrance free. Um, there's very, very little alcohol in them, which is um, good for your stamps. You don't really want to use too much alcohol in your stamps. Um, and they're actually really, really good quality um, baby wipes for using in like getting rid of um, ink and stuff. I have no idea whether these would be any good on babies, um, but they're about 40 pence or something silly like that. And um, because they're so cheap, you can just get through them really quickly and um, that, you know, it's not going to cost you too much. Um, I use that for all of my dye kind of based stamps and then anything that I've kind of got um, a bit of a more difficulty trying to get rid of the ink I use the scrubber pad from Hero Arts and also the ultra clean um, stamp cleaner you just spray this onto the pad um, on here and then you can just scrub the um, stamp and then you can clean it off here I don't actually tend to kind of clean it off and um, the only thing I found with this is that um, 
afterwards I tend to um, take one of my baby wipes and just wipe it across the stamp afterwards because I have found that there's a little bit of residue left on it um, kind of like in a, in a black colour whether that's because there's a lot of black ink that I've um, you know cleaned off and this is removable and you can um, just clean it in your sink um, or it's just the dye coming off of the felt I'm not sure but I tend to just go over it with a baby wipe and that's absolutely fine but they are really good stamp cleaners um, next up is some kind of um, tools that I use for die cutting or masking or anything like that this is basically is post-it tape <laughs> um, I love post-it tape and um, it comes in well it comes in loads of sizes I've got three of them and this is the larger um, post-it tape this is the removable lab labeling tape which I got from Simon's Stab I really like that it's a really thick um, tape all of the backing of it is the post-it type tape so you, if you had a small image you could stamp on it and use that as a mask and cut it out um, I also tend to um, use it if I want to mask off an area on my card say like I'm doing some ink blending or anything like that and then you can just remove it and then whatever's underneath it hasn't had the ink on it um, I have the same um, kind of post-it tape this is a tiny thin one um, I got this from Amazon and it's really great in that, um, especially if you're masking off sentiments or anything like that on a stamp, I just add this on the top and then, um, you know, apply the ink pad and then take this off and stamp. And it's really good for that kind of thing. And I also have the, um, the post-it tape. I guess this is kind of like the first one that came sort of popular in crafting I suppose um, I really really like it I still use it a lot um, I tend to kind of stick down stencils or anything like that with this um, I do um, I don't tend to um, I do mask a bit with this um, and I used to use it always for um, attaching um, like dies over my um, like if I've stamped and then using coordinating die I don't use that now I use the micro pour tape um, Jennifer Maguire kind of got me onto this although I have to say I have been using it for years upon years upon years as a nurse um, and I never it never even occurred to me that you know you could use it for crafting <laughs> I have to say um, but it's really great um, and the benefit of this one is that it's so so thin that if you're using a really thick sandwich in a, a die cutter um, you don't need to worry about um, it kind of embossing with the tape. Sometimes you can get little marks if your tape is quite thick, like this post-it tape. This one leaves no marks whatsoever. Um, really easy to get off the card. Um, the only thing I will mention is that um, here in the UK, it is really, really expensive just to buy like one roll if you buy it from a chemist or something, hence why I've never really thought about that I'd want to use it. Um, you can get it off Amazon like in a pack of 12 and it works out really, really cheap. So um, that's where I got it from. <laughs> Um, so I've got all that and I have also been using the um, frog tape this is the one for delicate surfaces um, I really like this for um, masking off like the side of a card if you want to watercolor with it or um, like again laying down stencils or something like that this is um, this is really quite good for that kind of thing next up I was going to quickly just talk about embossing um, I don't emboss tons and tons and tons so there are obviously are other people that are much more qualified to talk about it than me um, but I just wanted to quickly mention some of my favourite embossing powders these are the Hero Arts ones um, I tend to if I'm going to emboss mainly emboss in either clear or white um, so I have these two here and these are my favourites I keep them just in the containers because I don't emboss sort of like all the time um, I keep them in there so that's the clear and the white from Hero Arts I've also got the Judikins um, embossing powder this is the iridescent sparkle really really pretty I really like this and it comes in a really huge jar and um, so it's going to take me ages to get through that which is great and then I've also recently um, discovered the wow embossing powders I really like them because they're in a tiny little jar um, which is really helpful because um, they're of, they're cheaper so therefore you can buy more of them <laughs> that's my theory anyway um, and this is the silver pearl which I've really been enjoying using this year and I did get a few for Christmas as well of other colours so hopefully I'll be using those soon and then um, along the same kind of lines I wanted to mention the EK Success powder tool um, I bought this one a long long time ago and found that none of the powder was coming out of it um, so the powder is in this kind of chamber here and then you've got the brush and you're supposed to brush it on and then it gets rid of any static um, on your paper so that the embossing powder doesn't stick to it um, 
it, none of the powder ever came out of it and so I went back to using like the embossing buddies um, and I, I really dislike them because you get all powder all over your hands and it's just messy and um, so what I did was I bought a new one because I saw that other people were using it and it wasn't a problem for other people so why was it a problem for me <laughs> so I bought a new one the new one um, is in grey and the old one is in aqua so I don't know if there's a reason for that um, it's just they changed the the colours of it um, but this one works absolutely perfectly it just puts down the right amount of layer of powder so um, if anyone's having the same problem that I did it was I mean I did buy this quite a long time ago um, you might want to buy a new one I know it's a bit annoying to having to buy a new one but it does work a lot better and then for picking up any embossing powder that gets left or glitter or anything like that this tool here is great this is the Martha Stewart clean up um, glitter roller um, and what you do is basically, as you can see, I undid it, undid it and then you just kind of roll along your surface and it picks up anything here onto this um, kind of like rubber roll. Um, you could use a lint roller. The benefit of this is that it's tiny. Um, you can take this little bit out and wash it under the sink and then you can just fold it up and um, it stays in your drawer like that, which is really quite handy for me personally. So that was tools, and um, like I said, there was a lot of them. Um, next up, I'm going to talk about adhesives. Um, probably my main used adhesive this year was the ATG um, from Scotch and 3M. I love it. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it because the size of it. Um, it is obviously quite a large thing, um, but I find it. I never really had a problem with the size of it. It's really easy just to take down some adhesive um, and it sticks really well as well, which is great. And then for foam adhesive this year, I got hold of one of these massive rolls of foam tape. <laughs> um, I know these are very popular um, with crafters. I love it just because you have such a big roll of it. It probably comes out to like here or something. I've used quite a bit of it. They are more expensive because you're buying so much of it, but it lasts quite a long time. And I tend to be more liberal with it just because I've got so much of it, um, which isn't a bad thing in my opinion because I don't like any of the like the sagging on cards when you post them. So um, it's really, really good tape. Um, this, if I didn't mention, is from 3M. Um, I got it from Simon's Stamp, and you can get it from Amazon as well. Um, the only thing is this is a US version, and I live in the UK personally. They don't sell this version in the UK for some reason reason I have no idea why um, but it's really really good for you can just rip it and um, you don't have to cut it if you do cut it it doesn't leave a residue on your scissors and the backing of it is really easy to um, peel off as well which for me is really really great so I love that and then along the same lines of foam tape I also have this um, roll here of um, clear foam tape and um, this is completely clear I know in the US um, there is cool tack and um, I don't know other things in other countries um, I do like the cool tack although I much prefer this apparently this isn't available in the US and it's available in the UK which is quite a surprise um, but this is again from 3M it came in a really big roll again probably about this size it was quite expensive um, but you don't have to use very much of it and I really like the clear tape if um, I'm using a dot like a, um, maybe like a word dye or something like that and you can definitely see the kind of foam behind it I quite like using the clear for that purpose so that's that and again for kind of dimension is these little EK success foam pads these are the thin ones um, if I'm going to use a normal foam I would just use the tape um, but I have really been enjoying using these ones it's quite good if you want just a tiny little bit to mention um, especially if you wanted a poster card and you don't want to pay extra postage or if you I tend to use them more if I want to double up two layers um, and that's quite handy for that because it works out basically as like one layer even though you're only doing two um, so I like that a lot and then for liquid glue, um, the two that I've been using the most are the um, multi um, medium from, um, not multi medium, sorry, the Tombow Monol Multi um, from um, Tombow, obviously. Um, it's easy to get hold of here in the UK, and um, I really like it because you can just do tiny little drops of it. Um, it's got a, quite a, a precision tip on it. And then also the um, Studio um, Multi Medium in Matte. I really like this just because of the matte finish um, you know if you get a little bit on your card somewhere it's less likely to be seen because of it drying in a matte um 
kind of finish instead of a glossy finish and it is really really strong I mean this is probably the strongest adhesive that I have so I really like that and then last but not least for adhesives I've been using these Zots Bling these are really really good these are from Thermo Web they are really quite difficult to get hold of actually unfortunately especially here in the UK um, but I have got a link to where I've bought them from um, I really like them just because they are absolutely tiny these are basically like glue dots um, but these are really really tiny I don't know how well you're going to be able to see on screen but they're absolutely tiny little dots of adhesive and um, they're really great for applying sequins or um, any kind of small items really I really really like those so that was my adhesives and then last but not least I'm just going to talk about kind of finishing touches and embellishments so this year I've kind of got into sequins a bit not tons I'm still not a massive fan of them <laughs> in some ways and I am in other ways it's very strange um, but I do like them as a finishing touch on cards um, and it's different from say like um, enamel dots or rhinestones or anything like that so I've been using the doodle bug ones these are just two of the colours that I've picked um, I really really like the um, clear or the white and the lilac from doodle bug I really really like those and um, the only downfall with these ones is that they are all in one size It'd be really nice if they came out with a smaller one and a or like this size as well but they are in lots of different finishes and colours as well and I really really like them and then these are the sequins from Pretty Pink Posh I just have them in one of these um, craft mates containers and um, I really like the sparkling clear I probably use those the most um, but I do like these these are the little four millimeter ones um, and I like those a lot as well and next up is the sprinkles from Doodlebug. I'm sorry, my camera went a little bit blurry there. It's got nothing to focus on. Um, I love them. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what else I can say about them really. Um, they're just beautiful enamel dots. I adore the colours of them. I know a lot of people make their own enamel dots now, um, but I just I these basically pretty much are the only enamel dots that I buy now. Um, I just love them and um, they come in like the normal ones and then the um, kind of mixes that they've brought out um, this year have all got like a glittery sparkly to them and I really really like those I also have been using the clear gemstones from um, hero arts these are the smooth ones I really like them they're a bit um, they look a bit like baubles and um, just very very pretty and then also I've been using Glossy Accents quite a bit. Um, it is a really great adhesive but also it's really great if you want to add a glossiness to something. Um, so like um, balloons or something is quite a good um, thing that I've been using it for. Um, I do tend to find that it does warp the cardstock if you're using a lot of it. Um, in which case generally I tend to either add the glossiness to a panel of cardstock before I add it onto my card base or if I'm using it on a die cut I tend to cut the thing twice and then stick them together just so that it's a lot thicker and then it works really really quite well so that's glossy accents and then probably my most used item of 2014 is the Wink of Stella brush pen I adore this thing I use it on almost every single card I tend to use the clear the most. I do have some other colours, um, but I love it. I really, really love this thing. And it's just a nice um, kind of subtle shimmer. And um, yeah, it, it like unlike some of the other glitter pens that I've used in the past that don't show up that much or they work for a little while and not for much longer. Um, I love this and it works really, really well. Really great value for money. So that was my crafty favourites of 2014. I'd love to hear what some of yours are. Um, this is my last video of 2014 and um, I just want to thank everyone for your support um, I know I've been quite ill this year and unfortunately that is something I have to live with um, but I really appreciate your support and you keep coming back to me and um, I think I'm at 3,500 subscribers at the moment and um, I love you all thank you so much for your support and um, I hope to see you in 2015 thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon